What's up guys, it's your boy Freeze and welcome back to another reaction video. Today you're going to be reacting to a video titled Why this boiling Amazon River kills everything that enters. Crazy thumbnail bro, let's get into it. This is Shanay Timpishka, a Peruvian national monument that flows through the Amazon rainforest that kills anything that crosses its path. But wait, how does a river kill anything that crosses its path? Well, this is the only river on earth that boils 100 degrees 24 7 and this river is so complex <laughs> that it's even baffled scientists for hundreds of years and to understand bro, it easy solution bro the easy reasoning for this is that there's like a lava there's like there's, there's lava underneath bro give me some money bro i just bro. i need to see it for myself uh, Wait, the Amazon is in the Peru? Getting there wasn't easy. I had to fly from London to Madrid, then from Madrid to Lima in Peru, then from Lima to another oh part God. of Peru called Pacalpa. And this is where things got super interesting because we were literally treated like royalty. Why I think we're getting to the Eco Lodge is by a truck from some random dude that this, these people know down, down the street. Not exactly a taxi. There's like 30 grams of equipment, yeah, stashed in the back, yeah, with some melons. They're, they're coconuts. They're As coconuts. we passed through the city, right, right. out into the countryside, the driver stopped off and we were literally showered in an abundance of fresh fruit and Peruvian snacks. Oh my God, look at these watermelons. Bro, look how red, look how red the watermelon That is the sweetest thing since mullah yogurt. Fresh coconut water off the side of the road. Okay, okay. Oh man, it's out from Tesco. Sometimes I used to go Tesco? to party. I was hungover, you know. Yeah. And then it was in your garden, you have this. Oh. 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 In England, we have ibuprofen. Merrily, merrily. Life is just Buddy. a dream. <laughs> Buddy, get to the fucking Amazon, bro. What are we watching right now, bro? Get your ass to that water already. Okay, okay. Oh, is the, oh, we're here already? <laughs> My name is Jack Paolo Gratelli Alves. I'm My name is Jeff. Okay, here for centuries. He basically holds the key to the knowledge of everything that we want to investigate in this video. That includes an ayahuasca oh, ceremony. Oh, what? Which is meant to be the most powerful medicine in the world, by the way. An Amazon jungle hunt for its most dangerous creatures. And yes, that includes me being stung by the world's oh, most dangerous ant. And finally, hey, why? to this mysterious oh. boiling river that even scientists can't fully understand yet as we got closer to the boiling river we realized something we had to take a boat ride up one of the world's most dangerous rivers the amazon river flooded with all kinds of creatures including crocodiles jaguars anacondas electric did you say jaguars did i miss here bro with all kinds of creatures including crocodiles jaguars and jake what the hell is a jaguar anacondas electric eels no jaguars piranhas. but this doesn't in the stop river. anything on this channel and we're gonna make sure that we investigate some of its most dangerous species later on in the video but before that let me show you the most epic boat ride i've had in my entire life sick yeah so you can touch and it's warm it's warm yeah you can touch here's why i stopped shopping on amazon and you should too don't spend another dime on amazon until you watch this first what as it's not too hot. Oh my god. The only way I can describe it is like it's like the perfect temperature bath. So now would be a good time to explain what makes this river boil. And there are two theories. Scientists believe that it's volcanic, but the locals who inherited this river from their ancestors believe something completely different. The scientific explanation is this. Under the river, there are thousands of tiny cracks which lead right to the center of the Earth's core, heating up any water that spills into the cracks, spitting them back out and sending that hot water back to the surface and while this may be the case the locals believe that this river is sacred and it carries a lot more power than that that's any nature location survive in this do animals like live some, in the warm water there's some fish who they love who, the warm water who, who can mix fresh and, and hot that is incredible all right we're gonna investigate this more okay we're gonna investigate this boiling river more the further we go upstream the hotter it gets to a point where it actually boils like 100 degrees celsius and will kill anything that falls into it 
So we're going to get to that in just a second. As I was approaching the lodge that I was going to be staying in for the week, the water was getting warmer, almost to a point where I was only just about to put my hand in without it burning. And as I turned a corner, this is what I saw. If you look close enough, you can see the steam around the surface where the river gets super warm and this is where all creatures hit their limit and no life can be found. There are three stages to this river, warm, hot, and then boiling. And I'm going to be investigating all three of Bro, these what areas. The fuck? We made it. We made it. But Jay, all of this to go visit a boiling river. Well, this is where this video unfolds like a paper airplane. When I got there, I was greeted by a huge culture shock because the boiling river is not all that this rainforest holds. Ayahuasca, shamans, tribes, monkeys, sloths, spiders, snakes, horses, but most importantly, the answer to my anomaly, boiling water. In English, it's more well known as the boiling river. That way of describing is true because in in the north more north of, of the of the river is is 90 degrees since that is getting low the temperature we are like here now in the middle of the river let's say so here you are able to go in with that being said it's time to get into the boiling river for the very first time that is <laughs> oh, oh, brother this is insane. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. The only way I could describe the temperature of this water is it was hotter than the average bath, hitting a temperature of 43 degrees Celsius. And I know that doesn't sound too bad, but the idea of not being able to grab the sides of the bath and get out like you can at home was making it unbearable. There's no anacondas over here, is there? No, no. Oh, okay. Oh my god! I'm in the Amazon rainforest! This doesn't feel real! You are insane, bro. So everybody, God it kind of scares me that this is the swimmable part and it's this hot. Bro, I would never swim in this water, bro. Like Ever, bro! Pass out Fuck that! I had to get bro, some sleep. Bro, eat his ass. a massive week of investigating the Amazon jungle. So let me just run you through what our morning routine looked like to give you a glimpse of how the Peruvians live out here. The next morning, we woke up about 6.30 as breakfast was at 7. I took a freezing cold shower in the middle of the rainforest with a shower hanging on for dear life with a plastic cable tie. Next, I brushed my teeth. Luckily, I bought my own toothpaste as well because without it, I reckon I'd have been brushing my teeth with washing up liquid or some shit. Next was breakfast. And for this, we were cooked some hearty scrambled eggs with some grilled banana. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. It's okay, buttonos. This heat is unbearable. Me and Jack are suffering. The humidity and the heat here ain't a joke. I've never experienced anything like it. Nah, nah. Check that though. I know it looks f***ing Nelly Piper. Yo, Jack, who's Nelly Piper? Right now, we're gonna go and meet up back with the hosts. And they're taking us to a different part of the Boiling River now, which is referred to as the Sulphur River. <laughs> this part of the river is like filled with a bunch of chemicals, sulphur in particular. And we're gonna go investigate that and see and learn about this thing. People are just walking through like grass, like there's no snakes around here or something. Man's got shorts on, yeah, and sock shoes. I'm British as right now, you know. Where is he taking me? I'm not going. That's an ant carrying that. Bro, he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bro, look at the steam. Look at this. Is this the boiling river? It's not the 90 degree, but it's on the way of the main bo boiling part. So this is just the start, the and start, then the next bit is, is uh, the show. Next bit is the boiling river. This is like it's you had a child, and it's just you know. This is probably what like 80 Bro. degrees. Yeah, that's hot. So we haven't even seen the boiling that's water hot. yet. Bro! Animals can't survive in that, can they? That's too hot. Yeah, yeah, they don't. They can't survive. You could genuinely boil an egg in there. I swear to Christ, man. Don't worry. I'll be putting that to the test later on in the video. But just when I thought this river couldn't get any more insane, just a little further upstream, we started to see glimpses of 100 degree boiling water. You know just how oh, time can Worst timing, bro. Uh. Bubbling. At 100 degrees oh, Celsius yeah, yeah, right yeah. now, we're literally stood technically above a crater that just cracks all the way to the core of the earth, and that's what's heating that water there. Look at this. This was a worm. It's that hot, yeah. It's literally dried the worm out, and it's now a shell. 
Can you see that? And speaking of animals, that night we decided to explore the Amazon and investigate some of its most famous creatures. Bro, Where the puma eats you, bro? Mission to try and find Jeez. Um, the Amazon's craziest creatures. That's the. Bro, the you're gonna die. Episode. You're not gonna survive yeah, that, bro. That artwork right there. What are you on about? That I would absolutely love to see. Probably a snake or a tarantula. Any of those two, I'll be super happy. I want to see a snake, but I also don't want to see a snake. <laughs> if there's a f massive python or something, I'm, I'm nah. 15 seconds later, we found this. <gasps> How long did that take? Bro, it's been, it's been about 15 seconds. Oh my god. I don't know what tarantula that is, but it is huge. <laughs> Yo, I'm fanboying so hard right now. We found our first tarantula. Okay, yo, next on the list, yeah, anacondas. Let's go get one. Guys, just to let you know, we're actually doing the first to be eaten alive challenge by an anaconda. So the first person to die tonight wins 10 grand. I didn't sign any waiver. <laughs> I signed it for you, bro. Oh, forge. <laughs> yo, that's a big boy, you know. Bro, that is massive. That is like ah! quid for my train. Like, why is the one Lock in, like lock there? in. Um, I wish I could give you like a size reference of how big that is. That is literally Put your cock next to it, the size and then compare the sizes. We kept finding Com more. Like compare the length. Oh, they just put it right next to it. That's a big one. Isn't it? That's big. If there's any spider enthusiasts in the comment section, please let me know what you think that is. Another one right there. This one looks like. A little bit sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. Like he's got this red patch on his bum. It looks a bit toxic, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like my ex. As I watched these incredible creatures in the wild, I couldn't help but feel a level of concern about their future in this forest. And I'll touch on What do you mean? Oh wow. What is that? What kind of lizard is that? Oh my god, is that an ant? Bro, look at the size. It's not a fucking it's ant! It's a pincer ant. That's oh. a bullet ant, man. That's a bullet ant. Do you reckon he could chew through like a a McCrispy? I didn't, I didn't understand. We're getting deeper into the jungle now. Who knows what we're going to come across. I used to have a stick insect and then I turned it into a pencil. Oh my god, you're at the top. Oh my god, you're at the Bro, that's scratching. There's one, there's one. Keep the torch there. To keep it simple, Yo. this family of monkeys were fighting in a tree directly above the boiling river. Obviously, only one would win. And the one that lost got thrown into the hot river and was scalded. He managed to swim out, though, and eventually climb back up the tree to safety. But This man, happened? Nature is savage. Oh. Oh. These leaves? Yeah, so beautiful. They look like PNGs. What they the look like somebody fuck? put, like, images just printed on there. That is not a frog. That's a rock. That's not, that's not. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. This is just a reference of how big this toad is. Yo! Jack's hand Cut that two, motherfucker. Two, away from it. Oh my god. That's a size 10 shoe. And that's a toad in the Amazon rainforest. What am I seeing? So as I briefly mentioned earlier, the lives of these incredible animals are a serious threat every single day. You might think that's because of predators in the forest, but no, it's actually because of us. The Amazon forests are burning at a record-breaking pace. There's been an aggressive increase in deforestation since the election of President Bolsonaro in January. What? One of the world's what? most important environmental resources is vanishing. An area the size of a football pitch is being cleared every single minute. Nearly 20% has already been wiped out. The destruction is at a 10-year high. That's if we continue this level of deforestation, we'll take it all. Boom, there goes the forest. There is alarming news that the Amazon is now a net contributor of carbon dioxide, with an estimated 17% of it destroyed just in 2020. Meaning that the Amazon could soon be reaching a tipping point beyond which it cannot recover. So, I can't save this forest, but together we can make a huge difference, but I'm going to need your help. I'm going to donate 10p for every subscriber that this video gets, which means if this video reaches 50,000 new subscribers, I'll donate £5,000 to a tree planting organisation that will plant thousands of trees for us. And speaking on messing with nature just actually just watch the following footage
Yo, look at the trail. This ain't just like a normal ant's nest, yeah? They bite and they hurt. Jack got Bippo on and his hand, yeah? And his hand's all inflamed and itchy and that. I'm gonna try and get a really special shot for you, okay? Just to display how insane this is to the eye. Check this. I'm also getting this shot for the video. A bullet ant, three centimeters in length, bit me. Look at the size of it! Man! This pain was. Once you click this video, you'll be taken to USC. Bro, get the angle, bro. I want to see that shit bite Here, you. You can click on any state and get a. It was like oh. nothing I've ever felt in my entire life. Come on home! I'm gonna f find him, you know. <laughs> I've had my taste of the Amazon, you know. Get me f you know, my arms on fire. My arm there is f***ing hurting me, bro. Why am I so what? I don't think you understand this pain, bro. Is what one of the big ones? The big black ones with red in it, bro. A no. bully tank, bro. The ones that give you fevers and... It was like my blood was rising in temperature yeah. and travelling through my veins. Yeah, and eventually you get into my armpit and completely numbing my arm. What, bro? Oh, shit. Stop moving your arm! My armpit felt dead bro. and I was getting kind of worried because this pain was actually spreading to my chest. Brother, my heart's fast. My armpit hurting me, bro. <gasps> bro, I'm, go I'm gonna die. Go find the, go find Jack. We're asking for the some medicine, bro. My armpit hurting. Uh, I'm at, you know, why the f I'm messing in an ant's nest for a shot, for a slider shot and that. My armpit, man. Ah! It's pain, it's in the muscle, it's like twitching and that. And according to research, a bullet ant sting in the is one of the most painful things in the Amazon jungle. I genuinely I'm sure thought of it. I was gonna die. I ran down to the communal area to tell our translator what had happened, and Eva was just laughing. Oh, it's funny to them. I know, <laughs> they were laughing. <laughs> laughing at me, I'm dying. These English people, man, oh, they come to the Amazon, yeah, man, they get bit, and they start crying. I know he uses bullet ants to wipe his arse. <laughs> <laughs> that evening, I was in so much pain and it completely stressed my body out to a point where I couldn't even think straight. But like always, the Amazon's magic had the answer. This medicine, you know, this problem you have. You have when where you been at, bro? And you think too much. He waited the whole day for you, bro. Forget and you are like completely connected with the nature. So to put this simply, Jack is about to shoot a natural Amazonian herb into our nostril. What this essentially does is it instantly attaches itself to the nervous system in your body, which causes a massive dopamine spike. Dopamine spike so large, in fact, that it completely temporarily overwhelms the emotional capacity of your brain, clearing all the thoughts in your mind and resulting in a sense of euphoria. And I can't say I've ever felt that before. Although I will throw in a disclaimer here. There are reports of people who've tried this that end up crying sneezing vomiting and even experiencing unwanted bell joe rogan said that person has demons bro that's why they throw up movements so if you ever happen to find yourself alone in the amazon rainforest with a kind peruvian man called jack who happens to own this herb proceed with caution Never. no you had to take it bro a little bit just don't know what to expect just breathe uh, like uh, slowly Get the demons out! <laughs> oh, like, present. Yeah, yeah. Like, that tree looks amazing right now. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for coming, for being open. Yeah. Wow, that was a rush. Well, you're just high as fuck, bro. <laughs> Only the four medicines on the planet, and in this case, we'll be taking it in the form of a tea. Ayahuasca has many health benefits, oh, which include reduced anxiety and a cure to PTSD or past life traumas. But most notably, the experience you have when you take it is said to change your life forever. But before that, it's finally time for me to see the boiling river for the very first time. Naked? 
Why not naked? Never mind. A natural steam room in the middle of the rainforest. This is absurd. That's sweat. Nah. No way. No way. So I get home, yeah, you put your boiler on max and just run the hot tap in the bath. That's insane. Do you know what really makes me sad about making this video? The camera doesn't see what our eyes see. And seeing it in real life is way different to like the camera can pick up on. I don't know the feeling of being here. I'm gonna try and do my best to try and get it through on the edit and on the camera, but man, this is something else. I've flew egg. an egg all the way from the UK right here. I'm gonna crack it open put it in this pot with some boiling water from the river directly. I'm gonna see if we can boil an egg and eat it. Ready? <laughs> it's boiling! It's actually boiling the egg! This should basically just keep it at the temperature of the river rather than it cooling down. And very soon we'll have an eatable poached egg. It smells like an egg. What are you having it with? Pot noodle. So here I have my chicken and mushroom pot noodle. I want to mix this egg mushroom. Yeah, with the pot noodle. Scoop up the boiling river into that and start pouring it into there. So I've got an egg flavored chicken and mushroom pot noodle. It's fully cooking it. I think it's done. The consistency is perfect. It's nice and soft. For all my British members out there, subscribe to the channel. You know a good pot noodle when you see one. No, bro. Mushroom, bro? Nah. Hell no. Nah. It tastes like England. Ha <laughs> I've missed you. That everything I needed right now. I'm ready to stay out here for another two weeks. No, I was ready to go home before I ate this. Okay, so this is my first official food here. So, uh, I will dance to everybody. Happy word, dance? <laughs> That's good, isn't it? I'm really beginning to struggle with this heat now. It is absolutely exhausting. We're burning like 4,500 calories a day just from walking. Sorry if I sound a bit deflated right now. I am absolutely shattered. This is killing me. We're waking up at like 5 a.m. in the morning just to get the best shots for the video, just to see the river steaming as in the morning. The air is cooler, so the river is creating way more steam. I am literally drenched in sweat, and it's literally 6.45 a.m. in the morning, like, that's oh disgusting. god. I'm literally looking for this lizard that I just saw and it was absolutely huge. But it ran off and I don't know where it's gone. But it was like a f I think it's found the lizard. <laughs> slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Is that a snake? Yeah. Oh my god. Can I can I hold it? They don't bite you. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's changing colour in the sunlight. It's got like blues and purples. What? My mind is blown. It was what a rainbow boa apparently. I was looking for the lizard and Jack calls me over. I was thinking, yes, he's got the lizard. I'm so glad because I needed to capture it on camera. Oh my checked all the animals off the list. We checked them all off. You okay? Yeah. My name is Jay. Yeah. So this is the Ashanika tribe. They've been in the Amazon for thousands of years, and they're the ones that are going to be guiding us through our ayahuasca experience. So this is about as authentic as an Amazon jungle experience could ever possibly get. And yes, they started by welcoming us with a traditional Amazonian dance. <laughs> Como recibir una persona bienvenida por llegar por la naturaleza. Do you speak Spanish? It sounds like Spanish. Yo. El ayahuasca siempre concentrar, centrar y pedir en la naturaleza el maestro y le le comparte un trabajo el mente lo tiene tu cuerpo y para que te limpie y para que te ponga tu lugar tu espíritu. Follow the sounds of things. We're about to get like a hot bath by one of the ladies here. I think that's like part of the cleansing process before we go up and the ceremony starts. It's so out of the ordinary for um, us. That looks yeah, nice. Is. This is nothing like what we would ever do at home. No. I'm excited to be clean. <clears throat> yeah. 
say. Like naturally clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, using yeah. Redox for the past week. So the ayahuasca ceremony goes something like this. We get spiritually cleansed by one of the hosts in hot river water and a local plant, which smelt beautiful, by the way. This was to rid our body of any negative energy and thoughts. Me and Jack are about to go up for the ayahuasca ceremony. This is the last time that you'll hear from me directly to the camera. I'll try and document and record as much of the experience as I can, yeah. I want to really try and experience this fully and immerse myself in it. Whatever happens, I'll run you all for it and give you as much detail as I can, yeah. But, yo, until then, um, wish me luck. My heart was pounding. I've heard countless stories about ayahuasca and its effects on the mind, and at this point, I'm pretty skeptical, but had to flip that mindset quick because to experience ayahuasca properly, I needed to fully surrender myself to it and I wanted it to take me to places I've never been before. <laughs> I don't want to bore you with five hours of dark footage, but to keep it simple, here's what happened after I took the ayahuasca. Sadly, no hallucinations, no crazy aliens, none of that. But what I did experience felt very real, like a real message coming from somewhere higher. This is going to get deep. About an hour or so after I took it, I started to feel very connected with the room and the forest, and it was a deep, deep reflective state of my life and who I am. Not the Jay that you see online, but the true Jay that I have to deal with on a Bro. daily basis. The one I have to argue with. The one I have to deal with criticizing me 24-7. It's tough because ayahuasca is meant to strip your ego away from you, and I'm sat here doing this voiceover, which is the complete opposite. This is ego speaking. This is me telling you about my experience like it matters but my ego is telling me to make this video because it validates me as a creator i want to show the world who i am and what i'm capable of and we all do it nearly everything in our lives is to show everyone what we're doing like it's so important this is why this is hard because ayahuasca showed me what an ego is and that was my biggest lesson. This was my take from the whole situation, all right? Everyone who takes ayahuasca wants to speak about their experience. So during the ceremony, I was aware of how people want to see the craziest stuff so they can go sell a book or tell the world about how connected they are with nature. But my experience told me the exact opposite, which was really weird. Ego is the biggest killer. Stop doing shit so other people can validate you and just enjoy your experience whilst doing something. This already had his ego stripped through the past 18 months of experiences and throughout those experiences I was able to reflect and ask myself really really hard questions and those questions gave me answers. I remember sitting there and thinking about when I cared about what car I had or what clothes I wore or what brands I had in my wardrobe and overall how the world saw me instead of how I saw the world. All right, agree with client and so bro. What do you what do you happen about, bro? <laughs> bro, like, where's the river at, bro? That's it. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment down. What are your thoughts about this whole video about the boiling water in the Amazon River? Would y'all swim in it? Leave a like for no. Subscribe for yes. With that being said, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Stay blessed. And I'll catch you in the next one. Shadows.